Hey, good morning. Welcome to Viking Preparedness. I am Pastor Joe Fox. <clears throat> you ever get through a week and wonder to yourself, where the heck did that week go? Man, it just seems like Monday was here and now, you know, Monday's coming again tomorrow morning. Something like that. You ever uh, do your taxes and you look at your adjusted gross income and you ask yourself, man, where did all that money go? <clears throat> where did it all go? Or once you start getting older, you know, sometimes you can look back on your life and go, wow, some people, not me, but some people, where'd my life go? You know, you ever ask questions like that? Where'd it all go? That's what I'm thinking about this morning. And I'm trying to think of a way to help y'all or to give you guys something to guys and gals something to grab onto and maybe you know develop on your own and you know without wanting to sound like some new age guru or something I, I think we should all think a little bit more about living our lives more deliberately in other words instead of just going through our work a day world you know Monday through Friday, going to work for the man or, or whatever. And then, you know, on the weekend, you know, what do you do on the weekend? You go shopping, you have a barbecue, maybe go out to eat, catch a movie, go to church, watch the game, chill out, have a few brewskis, go back at it again so we can do all this again. And you know, where's it going, right? Well, I'm trying to put a little money away so I can send the kids to school, you know, stuff like that. But at the end of it all, it's like, man, where did it all go? Where did the best part of my life go? <clears throat> no matter where you are, no matter what your station in life is, you can change things. You can turn them around. And a, a big part of that comes from deciding what exactly it is that you want. What do you want? You know, do you really want to work 40, 50, 60 hours a week so that you can go to the mall on the weekend and have, you know, 2.3 newish cars in your driveway that you will never pay off? Is that what you want? Or do you dream of like, you know, living out here or on the beach or on a small coastal village of Greece where your dollar will go very much further right now, you know? You can accomplish what you want to do. You really can accomplish what you want. You just have to decide that you really do want it and that you're willing to work for it and to give some other things up. Priorities. Um, <clears throat> I was in an interview. I was interviewed by the Homestead Nation again the other day. And uh, I was asked a question. And the question was, when you're standing before the Creator... And he's reviewing your life. How do you want to be remembered? For the answer to that, you're going to have to watch the interview when it comes out. But, and I'll put a link to it somewhere when it does come out. It's, but it's not about me, right? It's about you. How do you want to be remembered? When your life is over, how do you want to be remembered? How do you want people to think about you? Or you could put it on another, kind of another tangent. When your life is over, what do you want to have accomplished? What's important to you? Spend some quiet time. Sit in a place like this. Think about what is it that you really want. What do you want? What would really make you happy? Does having a new car, new pickup, does that really make you happy? All right. I'll see you out there.